Welcome back to another exciting episode of Heart Strings. I'm your relationship therapist, Mitchie P, and today we're talking about the most important ingredients for any healthy relationship. We're talking about trust. Now, before I dive into the topic for today, I want to take a moment to say thank you to those of you that are joining me today. Your support means the whole world to me and I'm really honored to be doing this with you. Now, if you're new, you want to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any interesting episode concerning relationships and communications. And if you are a regular, well, thank you for your loyalty. I appreciate you. Okay, on to the topic for today. Trust. What is trust? Well, simple. Trust is the foundation upon which any strong relationship is built. It's that feeling of security, knowing that your partner is there for you and that your partner's got your best interest at heart. And of course, knowing that your partner will be honest with you at all times, difficult, but very important. And it's this knowledge that allows us to be very vulnerable with our partners. And this is where you see people who's been together and you say, oh, they have a loving, loyal, open relationship. Oh yeah, it is years or months of hard work in building trust. Because when you have trust for each other, you're able to share your true thoughts. There will be no feeling of fear or the fear of judgment altogether. But there are things that we need to do in order for us to get to that level, in order for us to build trust. There are tons of things to do. It's hard work, really. It's not easy. First things first, honesty is like the pillar for a trustworthy relationship you have to be honest with your partner it is tough Hmm, really really tough but that is the cornerstone of trust deep and sincere honesty then your partner needs to be able to have the feeling of being able to rely on you you know if you make a promise no matter how small it is you want to fulfill that promise be reliable be very reliable. Be someone that your partner can count on. You get what I mean? Um, not like, ah, the tie is always doing, promise and fail. No, no. Be very reliable. Then, I can never overemphasize this. Have open communication with your partner. Talk openly and be honest with your partner. You see, back to honesty. Be honest with your partner about your feelings, your needs, and your expectations. And as you do this, you want to remember to also be a good listener. It's not just about you saying what you need and what you want, but also listening to what your partner needs. Have an open communication. You need to have respect for your partner. Treat your partner with respect. Even when you're having arguments, there are many times you might have arguments and then you end up saying things that you do not mean or you say things that you later regret. So even in the midst of arguments, still have respect for one another. Say things that you would not have to think, oh my God, did I say that? I'm so sorry. Have respect for each other. And then you have to be consistent. Be someone who shows up for your partner. Be someone who's there emotionally and physically. If there are other means, I don't know. <laughs> but be someone who is always there for your partner. Your partner should be able to look at you and be like, yeah, he's got my back. You know, these are the things you can do to build trust in a relationship. These are the things you can do to build trust in a relationship. Because things like lies, deception, oh, I'm sorry, baby, I didn't know it was gonna hurt you. It's just a little white lie. There is nothing like a little white lie. A lie is a lie. And that lie can ruin the trust that you've, you've worked so hard to gain in your relationship. Like I said, be reliable because broken promises, promises that you do not follow through, 
you know, undermines trust. Little by little, bit by bit, and then over time, you just feel like, nah, I ain't gonna do it. He's always doing that. He promises and then he never fulfills. You understand? Secrecy, nah. It's no place for your relationship. Am I saying you tell your partner everything? No, but a secret, quote unquote, that can create suspicion or create a distance is not needed in your relationship. All right? Then you want to avoid being jealous and possessive. That thing can ruin trust. God, these behaviors of you being overly jealous and possessive can be controlling and damaging your trust in the relationship. And of course, there are lots of things that can happen. Life happens to everybody. You might lose your job, you might fall ill, but do not put that stress on the relationship because it makes it harder for your partner to trust you. So despite our best efforts though, a lot of times trust can be broken. We could try everything. We could try to have the open communication. We could try to have uh, respect for each other. We could try to be reliable. We could try to be there, but then something happens and you lose that trust. Maybe a betrayal or some dishonesty or maybe a hurtful action that was taken somewhat shattered the trust that you've worked so hard to build. The question is, can this trust be rebuilt? Well, the answer is yes, it can. It can be rebuilt, but it takes time, effort, and commitment from both parties. When it gets broken, rebuilding trust can be difficult, but it's not impossible, right? Now, say for example, your partner cheated, oh, but you love you love this person so much and you can't leave you know you can live without this person you want to be with this person but they broke your trust ah oh, terrible i oh, know well if you are the person who's broken the trust then you want to take responsibility for your actions if you're working towards trying to fix the relationship and rebuild the trust the first step is to take responsibility for your action. If you broke your partner's trust, acknowledge your mistake and then take responsibility for your action. Have that honest communication with them about what happened and why it happened. And listen, you got to be patient and you have to understand that your partner is trying to process the emotions. Okay. Whilst you're having that open communication, you should understand that everything you're saying right now, they are trying to process it and that this will take time. So you don't expect things to get normal over time. No, it's going to take time and patience. So you have to be patient. And if you're trying to fix your broken relationship or fix a broken trust, then you should know that action speaks louder than words. Show your partner that you're committed to rebuilding that trust through your actions, not just to say, I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. No, you have to, you have to show your partner that you actually do care about what they feel on and how they're feeling at that moment in that you really want that the trust be rebuilt or the relationship either ways so you have to show that through your actions and of course you need to be consistent and reliable whilst doing this look trust is a journey it's not a destination it's not a place where you go to and yes you've got in there no it's a journey and it's a long unending journey <laughs> yeah it's an unending journey it takes time it takes work it takes patience it takes understanding to build and maintain but what you should know is that with the right mindset and strategies you can cultivate a strong trusted relationship that will bring joy and fulfillment to your life okay have you ever had to, you know, like rebuild trust in the relationship? Did you hurt your partner? Were you able to 
overcome that situation and then rebuild the trust i want to know share your experience with me in the comment section yes i do love gossip so let me know <laughs> let's help each other out here because at the end of the day whilst we are bringing all this we're trying to you know um share lessons with one another so if you have an experience to share please let us know in the comment section and if you are enjoying this podcast remember to subscribe for more talks on relationship we're here every week and we tackle a new topic every week to navigate the exciting and sometimes challenging world of relationships thank you so much for joining me again today and until we see you again next time you take care of yourself and each other. I'm Mitchie B and this is Heartstrings.